Another interesting tool in Lightroom is the healing brush, which you can access by pressing the H key or using its menu option here. And this can be used to remove small imperfections from pictures. And it's very often used for things like removing tiny freckles or spots or earrings or something like that from people. Now, if I zoom in on my picture like this, what I can do is I can use my healing brush to remove some of these small blemishes. The first thing I would do is use the size slider to set the size of my brush. It needs to be quite small for this. It's very important to zoom in for this. And then I might move over one of the blemishes, click on it, and then Lightroom is going to guess that I want to take the texture from this area here and overlay it onto that area there thus removing the blemish. I could do the same with that one, with that one, and so forth. And if I decide for any reason that Lightroom's guessed incorrectly, I can pick up the target and I can say, actually, I want you to clone that bit onto it or that bit onto it. And Lightroom will do it for me. So again, another example, click and it's fixed. If you don't want to apply 100% coverage, you can drop the opacity down. And the feather control is used for controlling the hardness of the edges of that area. So if you want a more subtle effect, you can increase the feathering so that it's not kind of a hard circle that's applied. It's more of a sort of like an airbrush effect. This brush has another mode that's called clone. And in this mode, what I can do is literally copy one area of an image to another. And it's similar to heal, except when you do this, Lightroom doesn't kind of guess and approximate what you might be trying to do. It literally just copies exactly what you tell it to copy. So you can see that for this example, that's not the correct tool to use because as I'm moving the clone tool around, it's cloning areas which actually don't look right. I could get rid of that by pressing the backspace key. I could switch it back to heal instead of clone. And when I do that, it makes a better guess at covering over that blemish. If I come out of brush mode, all those little markers will disappear. They're still there though. So if I go back into brush mode, I can see all the little edits that I've made. They're still there, but I don't have to see them. If I just come out of brush mode, there they are. And you can see here was one that I actually did incorrectly. So if I zoom back in and actually remove that, oops, there we go. I actually want to remove that. So I'll just press the backspace key. And then I can go fit to zoom back out again. And I've removed that one that didn't work quite so well. So that's how you remove small blemishes in Lightroom.